Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? Good with you, Trauma T? Chilly, man. Not much. Yeah, man. Um, Thank you guys for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Exclusive Heat Series. You know what I'm saying? DJ Creed, Trauma T. Man, we're going to bring y'all some news, some hip-hop commentary. And we're going to bullshit around. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to the uh, murder music. For sure. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the murder master music show. You know what I'm saying? I got this shirt on, man. Y'all go, y'all go fuck with him. You know what I'm oh, saying? Do that. Yeah, man. Oh man, let let's start this shit off, man. But let, let's just go straight into the coronavirus again, man. I'm, I'm sorry to keep talking about this. This shit is an update. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, part two to this. Huh? <laughs> part two. <laughs> nah, nigga, hold on. I'm on a uh, I'm on the internet. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this shit. This shit crazy. Fuck. Yeah. Niggas. Yeah. Hold on. The prime minister, I think the his wife or some shit got the uh the coronavirus now. For real. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> man, look, man. Hey, I ain't been keeping up, man. Bro, this shit crazy. Hold on, man. This, man. Nigga. Hold on, where I see that shit at, man? Man, I heard um I seen the article where they said Tom Hanks and his wife had it. <laughs> that shit crazy, man. Like, I know we were just talking about this shit yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I quit. That shit can just happen like overnight. Like yeah. some more news, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know how. Well, I know how motherfucker they I, by being in them damn planes, just yeah. hopping in that bitch. You know the motherfuckers coughing and shit, man. The motherfuckers. Every time I go on a plane, it's a motherfucker sick as hell on the fucking plane, bro. Like you be, <laughs> and then nigga. <laughs> You ain't right next to the nigga. You right next to the nigga. Like, you like, you know what I'm saying, shoulder to shoulder with a motherfucker, man. And you know, again, motherfuckers don't wash their hands. You know what yeah. I mean? Be sick as... Man. Bruh, we should, we should have, like, fucking dividers in between the seats or some shit. For them you motherfuckers. Sit in your own goddamn space. Yeah. That shit be like a... I be at work, man. Everybody be sitting off and shit. Be having a dish yeah, a cu- cubicle. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. We need our own shit. Sit in that motherfucker. Man, I, you ain't lying, bro. I already know. I know how that shit be up though. Man, man that's that, that crazy, man. That shit spread it like that, man. Like overnight, then plus the NBA, you know, the whole NBA, all sports for real. Everything send the fuck down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. My, you know the kids. My, my kids ain't gotta go to school, nigga. For real? Yeah, niggas ain't they out of school. <laughs> <laughs> these, niggas, these niggas out of school, school, nigga. They they, they happy as hell. Daddy, guess what? Yeah. <laughs> like what? It ain't it ain't really hit like that, you know. Right now in Alabama, you know, we we getting ready for those changes, but right, man. Yeah, see y'all, y'all, y'all got a little bit more space between people. You know what I'm saying, so yeah. that like all the places where you ain't, you ain't, it ain't as crowded all the time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Y'all got a little bit more land in between people, man. Everywhere else, that shit's hitting. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. See, hey, it's time to time to save up, man. Get yeah. get get the food up in the, in the ammo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Here it is. It, it's a Justin Trudeau, whoever this nigga is, uh, president of Canada, he said yeah. he's in self isolation and his wife is being tested for coronavirus. That's crazy as fuck, my nigga. I'm saying, like, real, man. Yeah. Like, like, damn, man, this shit. This shit, this shit touching the globe, man. They finna shit all this shit down. I feel mm-hmm. like everything finna just stop. Like people finna stop going to work. 
Like you say, your kids stop going to school. Yeah. Send down big organizations, the NBA send down all type of sports and all type of big events. Never sit down from their they main pattern. Then see this coming, getting canceled, everything. Man, so real. And that um that uh, uh basketball player nigga, he got he got coronavirus too. Uh um, right. I seen that today. And the craziest thing it was about that interview when I seen him. Before he left his interview, he was touching over the, the conference desk and in the mics and all that shit. So, you know, I don't I know he was probably playing at the time. I don't know if he thought that he didn't really fully have it at that time, or he probably knew. And didn't give a fuck, but he just start messing with them, touching over their microphones and, and recorders and shit. I'm like, yeah. damn, man, that shit's serious, man. For real yeah. though. That was some ignorant ass shit. That nigga didn't give a fuck. I like, goddamn, nigga. Yeah. And I think they said um that's the second guy that tested for it. So I know that's another reason why they just they just shook the whole shit down. Cause you know, in college, they were just gonna just play the game, but they weren't gonna have the fans there. Yeah, fans were just gonna watch from home. But now they just they just stopped all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Rudy, his name is Rudy Go Go Goldberg. <laughs> yeah, that nigga. That, and, and he was the ignorant nigga to just touch on all that shit. Damn, that's that's ironic as fuck. You're like, I don't give a fuck. Start like, touching shit. I don't know what the purpose of that shit was, man, because me personally, I've been fucked up at the time. But like, you know, if they told me or if I heard I got that shit, like, damn, I've been so fucked up, man. Like, shit, I've been in a in a straight pause, a moment of shock, goddamn, like, damn, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't make no fun out it, try to touch every little thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got it, you got it. I wouldn't make no fun of shit, man. Cause it's serious though, for one thing. I don't think he was taking it serious at that time. Yeah. Hey, I might come. I'm, I'm coming in clear, right? I ain't muffled or nothing like that. No, nah, you good, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. I, I agree with you, bro. Shit. That shit. Yeah. But <sighs> you heard about um, Mark Cuban, what he trying to do since everybody yeah. get laid off. He trying to get up enough money to pay the people, you know, that still work for the NBA and the people that's getting laid off and shit. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, shit. The only thing, see, niggas was laughing at Bernie Sanders. Talking about, you want everything free, Medicaid, and uh, Medicare, and all like that. Niggas laughing at Bernie Sanders. Now this shit, <laughs> this shit came full circle. If I were Bernie Sanders, i just have one, a commercial, and it'd be yeah. a black screen with white letters. I told you. <laughs> it's going to get to a, man, they say it's going to get to a point that shit. This shit finna just straight shit down. So it's like, damn, like what's next, man? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. They gonna have police on police on air block. Yeah. Patrolling, working air block. You can't go go outside, you know, certain times or what you going out there for. Or you can't probably go out to nothing but emergencies just to go to the hospital, somebody sick. That's yeah. it. For real. Yeah. It's crazy. Shit like one of the movies, man. This shit probably been on the Simpsons. You know how the Simpsons do shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh. And the Simpsons be telling the truth and shit, man. Yeah, they do. Man, they got so many episodes, they don't predict it. Like, half the damn... Half the damn <laughs> century. <laughs> the damn world peace. The Simpsons yeah. got damn predicted everything that was written. Simpsons got the real book. <laughs> yeah, they damn sure did. They got the real, they got the G code, man. Yeah, if yeah. you ever want to know what the G code or some real life shit, watch the series, chapter yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. And uh, since it's been off for about fucking 30 some years, nigga, that shit yeah. about as old, old as me. I want to say, goddamn, late 80s to early, early 90s. Sims has been kicked off for a while. I want to say probably like eighty nine to right at ninety or some shit. They've been they've been they've been in the game. I believe one of the first air cartoons on that level like that. On yeah. good production shit. 
that they have syndication for that long. What not even syndicate, they just been on. Yeah, just rolling. You know what I'm saying? Still come on by seven with some six, seven o'clock at night. Still come on just like any other motherfucking show. You know what I'm saying? The whole that that spot in the game for so long, even being a cartoon, that ain't even some real shit. You know what I'm saying? But the shit they saying as people looking back now, like damn man, that shit. Then you know the people who look back and do that research, they kind of you know break down shit. We really putting this shit before us because we wouldn't know nothing about it. You know, if they don't break it down and show us like, hey, they talked about this shit in this episode, you know what I'm saying? So they started doing all the research and realized, damn, they telling each book of this shit, we might as well just look to the Simpsons with the Simpsons, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, nah, I, I uh, the Simpsons shit, man. Hey. <laughs> Legendary. Uh, oh, man. That's it. I don't know. I be saying they be predicting a lot of shit. Uh, let's, let's, uh, you, you, you can check out that, uh, the baby shit that was going on, man. Oh, yeah. To my way, you slapped that chick, man. Oh, man. Hey, hey man. I- Somebody said he slept earth, wind, and fire at me. <laughs> hey, but you but you know what? On some real shit, that really ain't his fault because he couldn't tell, you know, who it was. And he thing people don't realize, man, with them clubs and stuff like that. When yeah, that yeah. Them lights is in your face, you really can't see shit. When you perform it, you, you can yeah. see like the first two people in your row. You know what I'm saying? If that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Shit yeah. be going so quick, you know what I'm saying? Like if you see anybody, you know what I'm saying? You right. know, you know, people right there. That's all you know, people right there. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. how the yeah. yeah. And the lights be going, the lights and shit be going, man. Lights flashing all in the man's face, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, and you can't you can't really tell if it's a uh a male. A female, you can't. And yeah. if, if something hit you, you don't. You don't know what that is. You don't know if that's a gun, knife. You know what I'm saying? Bat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> got a goddamn. Especially that shit hit you, man. That's one thing. You know. Yeah. You already see. That's one thing about being cautious. You don't want shit to happen. Right. But that even that little shit happened. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't even nothing. He was. Get to it, nobody. That little shit, boom. It probably was a mistake, you know what I'm saying? But it's the fact that this shit happened. Then you yeah. that close, you to cluck the man in the head, you know what I'm saying? Right. So shit, you already don't want shit to happen. So when that shit happened, you know, he ain't know what the fuck. He already on, you on go mode, you on goddamn, you see, you're paranoid, you got this set, set shit going on, people around you and shit. If a motherfucker right. get that damn close and hit your ass, I'm going to turn around, too, like, damn, what the fuck? Who done got that that close? You know what I'm saying? You right. don't know if it's a male or a female. Yeah. So, yeah. shit, it's right, so fault, man. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I you know, I ain't going to lie to you. I hope that he gives us some kind of money just because he hit her. But yeah. I, to me, she don't deserve none. I, I'm just going to be honest with you, man. I don't, I don't think she deserves shit because... Yeah. Somebody hit you, that's already assault. It don't matter if you're famous or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. You, got a, yeah. you got a right to pop that motherfucker right back. <laughs> yeah, she got she got too close, man. Yeah, she, she got, got too, too close. Yeah. That's and, what it's and, and like I said, man, I I I feel her, you know, it's a it's a female. We, you know, we don't need to be putting our hands on females. So, so I don't, you know, yeah. I'm not saying we should, you know, hit females or nothing like that. But no, he had no. He really didn't have no choice. That's because I don't been in situations in the club, man, where motherfuckers get up on you. You, you, you got to push them off, knock them out. Do you got to do something? Yeah, okay. yeah. exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. All the, so all these niggas, I've been looking at the news and you know listening to radio and shit. He wrong. He should have never did that to me. And the security should have. Yeah. Security ain't gonna be able to handle every single little thing that happened, usually they reacted to what you're reacting to. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But like, what, if, what if the security would have seen that shit, though, before, you know what I'm saying? Like, say the person still 
I guess made a mistake, hit him with the phone, but the security seen that shit before he even turned around and hit him. What would the security have done? You know, it probably been like a whole lot worse. Right, when right. The security would have seen that shit, then right. they're gonna really be, they're gonna beat the brakes off your ass then. You know, yep, shit. Yep. So would so so he probably did her a favor by by doing it. You know what I'm saying? You're right. It, it was, that was probably a light thing right there. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know what it was. He turned around and swung. Shit, boom! You the one got hit. But if the security would have seen, okay, you you reaching out. You know what I'm saying? With your damn phone. First of all, I can't even get by the point. Why the fuck you that damn close? You know what I'm saying? See this man walking in the shit, boom! You that damn close. What happened to just taking a picture? What you trying to do with the phone? Pass this shit to him? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So damn, boom, you didn't hit him. Like I said, he turned around and swung, but if the security would have seen that shit right there, you hit him, they probably would have mopped the club with her, you know? Mm. <laughs> you never know, man. See, I guess she should have just take that, goddamn. <laughs> For real. That shit was her fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I, I'm not on her or her side or the people's side that say, you know, like I said, it's just, it's just out of if you've been in that position, you ever performed or everything, anything like that, like I said, man, it ain't that it's it's too hard to it, you gotta protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, how much money you got or how little money you got, man. You're gonna protect yeah. yourself. And if yeah, that's the yeah. way he reacted, that's the way he reacted. You know yeah. Exactly. You already don't want shit to happen. You already on your mind on some more shit, you know. Yeah. You, want to be you, you want to do you, but you always got to be cautious, even with the people that you with, but especially for outsiders. She was an outsider. She ain't in the group or none of that shit. She didn't, she didn't jump the damn line. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that, that's, the, that's, that's the results of that. Yep. yep. You're right about that, man. So, you know, yeah. just to close it out, man, the baby, we, we, you know, me and Trauma T, we support. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, see, hey, she shouldn't have got that close, bro. Yeah, yeah. For real. I, I, I ain't even gonna but, but not only does her though, it could have been a guy too. It could have been anybody. You shouldn't have got that close. And, and you know what? <laughs> if it was a guy, people wouldn't even be acting the way they are. You know what I'm saying? And that's the crazy part. If he would have hit, if there was a guy would have hit the baby with that damn phone, it would have been a lot more shit going down in that. Right. Straight up. Cause he would have he see when he hit her he didn't he didn't turn around to get the person off I'm like damn you didn't bang me in the head but you know if he would have put his focus on like that's a guy and the security would have seen that was a guy too like bro what the fuck you trying to do you know what I'm saying they would have popped the club with him straight yeah, up yeah. and then they everybody would have said that the guy got what he deserved you know what I'm saying everybody would have been saying that shit instead of yeah. the yeah, like what they would have been saying then, like what the fuck he was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You got that close in that shit. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Man. You, you know how they do it. Yeah, man. All right, let's shit. Speaking of fights and bullshit <laughs> with clubs and all that, man. That little baby versus offset shit, man. That shit is wild. Did you did you check that shit out? Yeah, bro. I seen that and they saying, well, first little baby saying, he ain't, they ain't had nothing to do with that shit. Um, him and his, um, him and his clique or whatever. They saying that when them and shit. But they, but I seen a little video. Of it. They were saying it was um offset out there. They jumped or whatever. <laughs> I seen it. I, seen well, it. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I ain't, I ain't seen nothing that offset responded. To that shit about it, but, but yeah, but you know what they were saying though? They were saying offset unfollow uh, he from QC and uh, yeah. unfollow uh, little baby and all them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you know, something happened. You know, what I'm saying? I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> something did happen because if he was, because the thing was he put the promo out, little baby on, um, because you know little baby got the number one album. Since they under the same label, he put the promo out, you know, support or whatever. Shit, that's just like a brother on the team. Yeah. But after the incident, you know, all that shit was taken off of uh, social media sites everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. Unfollow everywhere, you know. So some something had to happen. 
See, we don't we don't even know that if that was him, but the thing is, if that wasn't him, why did all that shit, you know, occur when you unfollow even the big dog, even Pete, you know what I'm saying? Even the head hunter. So I don't know, something had to take place, man. Yeah, yeah. I I I, I think, you know what I'm saying, like when you when you got two like high profile artists like that, man, you know. He them they doing the right thing by staying quiet and, and trying yeah. to handle behind the scenes, but yeah. you when you get money like that, man, you know these crews, man, they everybody think they every crew think they the shit, and it's yeah. bound to be, you know, people clashing, people, you know, just be on some bullshit, and it ain't sometimes it might even it might not even be little baby that's doing it. it could be, you know, one of the homies of the homie. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, probably not. Yeah. I mean, yeah. probably not. Then probably somebody else for real. Yeah, but I'm man. gonna watch that video again. I'm gonna have to keep watching it to kind of study it and see. It, mm. It's just it's so much shit going on. They had a video is. I mean, shit. The people saying they've been watching it. People say that's them. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I I I ain't gonna even. You know what I'm saying? And then on, on top of that, you know what I'm saying? They somehow, what, what a, I know the first report was like, they stripped him naked and beat him up. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. so, you know, see, but he he hadn't spoken on it, though, so we don't even know. Like, he even really said no shit about it, you know? He ain't said nothing about it. I think they said he was showing his face or whatever. Yeah. But he's saying he ain't get touched or whatever. Yeah. But I guess other than that, he ain't addressed nobody. Yeah, uh, boy, I I just hate you know what I'm saying because in Atlanta, man, you know they they doing real good. They really getting shit, getting really shit together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they got a they got a good team, man. They mm-hmm. got a good for the yeah, man. That's so shit. shout out to QC, man. Yeah. You know, I, I, I fuck and and I fuck with QC man. I fuck, fuck with that uh, twenty four heavy and all them. Yeah, man, they got a nice boss over there. They good man. I don't I don't know. Shout I out got- uh, uh, Eastside Eastside Jody. He over there uh, getting managed through QC too, man. That's, those those the homies. So, yeah. You know, shout out to him, man. Hey hey, I hope y'all keep that shit together, bro. <laughs> For real. Yeah yeah. yeah. That shit don't, they don't be on no death row shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody beefing with each other and shit. It just part of some more bullshit, man. Part of some more bullshit. I don't know. But we we had to just see. When, when did that fight happen? Like yesterday or something? Shit, a couple days ago. And I think it was in Alabama, too. For real? Yeah, I think oh. the show was in Alabama. Yep. Damn. I got to look at that shit again, man. Yeah, check that shit out. Yeah, hey, uh... <laughs> It's crazy, bro. That's it, crazy as fuck, well, man. Yeah, oh, that, well, somebody out there, though. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah, they, they know what's up, man. Like, ain't too many people talking, but it was enough to uh, start the room. Man. Yeah, because P, P haven't said it in heaven. Nah, P ain't said shit. Not, not that I know of. And I've been yeah. uh, searching on searching online to see Happened, or uh, he said anything, but you know, he ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah, he probably he ain't gonna say too much, man. Yeah, it, it, it's gotta be in the group, you know, they'll say something. I see, it. goddamn Cardi ain't even said shit. Nah, nah, you know, she ain't gonna say nothing. She's gonna take up, yeah, <laughs> she's staying by, you know, she's gonna stay by offset. So. Oh, yeah, I don't know, man, it's just shit, it's shit crazy. Oh, yeah. Speaking of uh, craziness, you know, one more to uh, seen the shit with uh, uh, Post Malone. Oh man, Post Malone, man, he been he been tripping on stage, man, <laughs> acting weird and shit. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm gonna be the first to say this. I, I, it's gonna be controversial. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I hate Post Malone. <laughs> 
It's a lot of these people I don't listen to. I don't know none of his songs. I can't say I really do. And I would be lying. So, you know. But I have seen, you know, I got to keep up with the hip hop and the news and shit. I seen he been tripping on stage. Yeah, man. But hold on. Let me give you just the reason why I hate Post Malone. <laughs> Look, white people are the only people who could jump in a genre, jump out of a genre, be black when they want to, be white when they want to. And I hate that, bro. And then, even if you're a white boy who is talented, I, I, I respect, you know, talent. But and it's a black dude, just a talented. Sometimes yeah. that that white person gets more of that shine than the black person with the talent. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I, I hate seeing when white people milk it. Because when he first came out with that white officer, I thought he was a rapper. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Then when he get when he get famous and get popping, then all of a sudden, oh, I'm not a rapper. I'm just, I'm, a, I'm a musician. Yeah, cool. But the, the shit that you were doing at first. With some rap shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden you got all these rock songs, which I respect. But when yeah. you were doing rock at first, that shit wasn't popping. Yeah. You know, you had to come to the black people, get the black audience, get popping on the black side, then your shit started to pop. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I, I'm, I don't fuck I don't fuck with I, I do not fuck with shit like that, bro. Like, I feel you know, me neither, bro. I don't fuck with no shit like that, man. Yeah. Oh, it that. is. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Nah, I was going to say that's that fake industry shit. That, that, that's that's exactly the shit I was going to say. And I was going to say the answer to that shit. That's the shit that's fucking hip hop up, man. Like, yeah. for real, for real. That shit, man. And that, that's even with, I guess, people that's not dedicated to this hip hop shit. Because I got, like, as of right now, I got, like, the love and hate for hip hop. Because, you know, I could be so hip hop. I love it. Like it's like that family member that just keep fucking up. You love them, right? But, but you know you got like damn, you gotta stop fucking up. That's what make me got damn not like your ass. You know what I'm saying? See, so that's how I feel with hip hop right now. And that's the motherfuckers that jumping in hip hop. That's really not you know on that shit. That's really bad. You know they just telling some make believe fake shit. Just fucking up every damn thing. Yeah. That's how, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, I, I just can't I can't rock with it because my thing is too, along with that, like it's niggas who really live what they said, you know what I'm saying? And and all the people that sacrifice all their time, like a lot of these niggas didn't get paid like like a post Malone. So you taking a genre, getting paid like a motherfucker, and it's a motherfucker over here got the same talent that ain't yeah. getting shit. That shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, I, I, I be having problems with that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I, that's why, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm not racist, but I, I'm pro black when it comes to music. I am. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm pro black. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. See. And, and, and you know, I deal with white artists and all this, stuff, and I fuck with them, you know, everything. But I, I feel like that advantage of just being white because it's way more white people you you a, a white artist have way more white people that they can you know they can uh, you know promote to and whatever usually the black audience you start out with the black audience it's a smaller audience and then you have to be a certain type of artist to, yeah. to growing and branching out so that's why I'm, you know I do try to support you know more of my black artists I still rock with the white artists, whatever. But I, I just feel like that, like that doing that post alone. Nah, I'm a, I'm not a rapper. I'm a rock star. I'm a this or I'm that. Fuck yeah, that. well, well, you know what I'm saying. Just stay over there with the rock stars, dude. You right. know what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> I'm coming over here every time, and, and you notice that even like with a Justin Bieber or somebody like that, you know they they try to rock and roll and the alternative shit. It don't work. So come back yeah. to the hip every oh, time. Shit. Yeah. Everything. That's crazy, I know, man. That's crazy because this shit got more feeling, more passion, more soul, more everything, more reality, everything. Goddamn shit, 
we was built from this shit. This is our life story. You know what I'm saying? So you want to come over this bit sometime. It, they just visit. You know what I'm saying? They come yeah. over to visit. They like some cousins or some shit. They ain't yeah. my cousin. I don't know about <laughs> I don't know yeah. that. <laughs> but, you know, I, and I, but I, I encourage, you know, white boys and other ethnicities to do it. I just want you to be real. Like, if you're a white artist yeah. like Russ, if you're a white artist, Respect the game, man, and give back to the to the people who risked their lives and, and created this genre for you to get money off. You know what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with Russ. I don't even like his music, but hey, I, I heard a couple like, of songs. I heard like one or two. I right. seen that video on YouTube. Yeah, he, he can flow. Yeah, yeah, he can flow, and but I like I like his grind and his attitude. Yeah, and that's why I never have nothing bad to say about Russ. A, a lot of these other ones, uh, I don't even mess with it. But I know I got off subject. We were supposed to be talking about his, uh, him wilding on stage, but I had to get that out. <laughs> had to get that out. You know what I'm yeah. I feel like, you know, what I'm saying, don't, don't, don't use us. I mean, don't use us for your yeah. I mean, Exactly. Because yeah, this shit, this shit, pain. It, and it's not like even something that you would try to go and do, get trained for. I feel like I was born with this shit. You know what I'm saying? It was already instilled in me. You know, like this would come with it. I'm on that music shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. I don't know, man. It motherfuckers be out here want to do this shit. Like, it's trial games or some shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You, you don't need to be in this game then. Yeah, man. For that, this ain't no little play shit, you know. Hey, hip hop ain't for everybody, for real, for real. Yeah, I, I well, I, I like again, man. I, I think hip hop is very inviting, and I think it, it it is one of those genres where you know anybody can do it, but just just give back to the to the black people and the, and the yeah, people that, yeah, that made for this real. shit what it is exactly. And, Exactly. I, I I never have a problem with you. Man. I just feel like it's just a lot of that shit going around. They trying to make these, these cash in. They trying to cash in. You know what I'm saying? And jump out when they need to jump out. Saying, yeah, exactly right. But shit, we we really don't have a problem with it. But shit, just give some you know some pay some homage and respect to this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, hey, this the, this, the, this the G's who did it, you know what I'm saying? Shit, boom, hey, that's what it is. We'll yeah. feel you on that type of level. Because you say hip-hop is inviting. Yeah, it, it is. Hip-hop's a fun place. Shit, this this where you can expand your imagination. You can be creative. You can be yourself. You can have freedom of speech. You can do what you want to do. You can put on, you know, and people take this shit, you know, like, I don't know. They see all this shit. They be wanting to just jump on, jump in and shit. But if you ain't really cut from the cloth from that shit, then you gotta leave that shit alone, man. That's that's the part where they fucking up hip hop. I think like as of right now, mm -hmm. like for real. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, man. I guess this is it for for the day, man. We had to, you know, what I'm saying. Spit a little. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, man. Thank you, Trauma T, again, for being the guest on the show, man. Killing that shit. Make sure y'all y'all pick up all Trauma T's records, man. Me and Trauma T got coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going Good with you, Trauma T? Yeah, 